Hey, hi, CMA buddies. Hope so you are doing great in your life and welcome in my new session. Today, I am here with CMA Divesh Kumar. He is cost accountant by profession and he has more than 14 years of experience. Right now, he is working in Cognizant as a business solution advisor. And he has worked in Genpack as a manager, as a senior manager. Apart from this, he has worked in other companies also. So, I think this session is totally different from other sessions because earlier in earlier sessions, I have freshers. But right now, I meet with a person who has many experience. So, hope so. I definitely enjoy this session and you will also enjoy this session. Hi, Divesh sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Rohan. And how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you for accepting my invitation and coming on my platform. Yeah, no problem. It's good to, uh, you know, uh, come here and discuss uh, what you wanted to spread about the CMA folks. Thank you. So uh, I want to na, start with your initial journey. Okay. Because this is my first question and you are already experienced person. So at that time, CMA was also not very much popular, right? So how you started your CMA journey? What inspired you to start CMA? Okay. So let's start from your words when you say, uh, it was not not that much popular, and uh, I was the one who was not aware of uh, this profession. We we heard about other sister concern that we usually have in the market. Very popular name, right? Right. So I was uh, uh, I was thinking of doing that profession, but the hurdle was uh, I was not having that time to uh, spend more time over the compulsory training of three years and spending. Uh, the time on trainings only so i was in graduation third year and i was working simultaneously for a ca firm as well and uh, the move got a colleague who was uh, a recently qualified cw at the moment uh, i was working with him so he just said if you can't do such trainings then go for uh, cma the uh, cwa the moment uh, i was doing it was called as C cwa and uh, people were knowing about it icwa the institute right. name they called as a profession so right. uh, so he said you can go for it and it would not be the harder for you to get uh, the exemption from your trainings etc and you can do it he found some good things in me that you can do so I decided that I should pursue after my graduation uh, because uh, we can exempt uh, from uh, initial foundation examination. So in 2010, I decided to pursue this and I uh, got the admission and the first attempt was to be happen in 2011. So this is makes me, uh, you know, curious about doing this uh, uh, degree and uh, I'm, I'm still thankful to my dad colleague. Uh, he's also the CA, right? I, I should not forget to mention his name, C.A. Mohit Jain. He's one of my mentor, as a, of course. So okay. I've been thankful to him. Okay. He, he made me a CMA, obviously. Thank you, great. So uh, when you joined CMA, and I think we're already working, right? Because you told about your colleague, you were already working at that time mm -hmm. when you joined CMA. And also, uh, you when you were already working, then it means you were already a graduate, right? At that time. Yeah, because uh, I was graduated in 2010 itself and then I went for the admission in the uh, CMA and I, I, I got to know that uh, the nearest time would be the June 2011. Okay, so when we started your CMA journey and uh, you need to also manage your office work and uh, also your studies. So what are the challenges you have faced during your initial stage? and how we overcome from that situation. So when the first uh, challenge was, I was thinking of taking some classes and uh, a corporate office. You don't get time to study because of traveling from Delhi. You don't get a chance to get some classes. So it was a very big challenge for me to manage the time. But still, I could manage it for a one class daily in the early morning Lakshminagar and then I decided to start my day around 5 a.m. then moving to Lakshminagar and uh, then jumping from there to Noida for the office and then back to home and then think of 
studying but not able to do but still have to do choice when you pursue such courses so uh i decided to move on with the first group only in 2012 june because i was little scared about the syllabus and i just thought you don't have time for the studies and classes as well so that is how i started i mean 5 to 12 was a kind of my daily routine and saturday sunday was like just go for study so <laughs> have you cracked your first tm intermediate in first attempt and it takes some time <laughs> no because when you have fear in your mind right like when you fear about something you do so i could crack the uh, first group in uh, june to uh, to uh, uh, 2011 and then uh, within december i could crack my inter completely so there was no barrier when you fe- have fear in mind you can you can do that okay okay great so you are already working now and it's uh, you got also exemption after completing your intermediate right so yes. you were directly appeared for your cma final examination so have you also faced some challenges in your cma final no when you crack in first time you have some confidence and you right. want to do a bit challenging thing so i decided to make sure that i'll go for the final examination with both groups so okay. uh, and also we had good time to study i mean a complete year when you uh, complete your uh, inter you have uh, have to appear in the next examination for final for at least after a year so my next attempt was in 2012 december and i just uh, got my inter result in fab 2000 Uh, 11 so i just planned that i have 9 months 9 10 months and i'll go for both groups so i started preparing accordingly and uh, there were a lot of challenges because i was also organization responsibilities were more there because profile got changed and there were eight subjects to be covered within these 8 9 months so everything was challenging but yes i was just for make sure that i appear properly in uh, december to, uh, 2012 attempt for the finals okay okay so after when you completed your exam then what was your feeling at that time because it is very much important so i missed one thing and okay. i was just thinking you last that question intentionally i did that i could not qualify in 2012 and this is the first failure of my life <laughs> when i in my educational career there are a lot of failures but uh, when you study it was first for me mm-hmm. that i could not make it and just because of the aggregate condition i could okay. make sure that i get 40 plus in all the subjects and uh, but not uh, could not make it uh, 50% for all the subjects however if you look about uh, third group it was around 49% it was very painful to not for don't have a single person just to make sure at least you have qualified for a attempt for a group so the challenge was for me that what i will do next because for me i i covered everything i didn't miss uh, miss according to my thoughts but uh, uh, one of my uh, you know uh, faculty just told me that if you have covered everything that your mind says then please focus on the revision because somewhere you are missing some accuracy which is not uh, making the things and maybe uh, your speed is low if you have missed some questions in your exam or maybe you are not able to present so make sure that you make it accurately on time that is speed and presenting in the manner which examiner wants to see so make sure these three points and you'll get it and of course in 2013 june attempt i could make it uh, in a way that i was to so that that that's how i realized that uh, there is something which i was missing and i realized when i was revising the uh, my syllabus and everything so but to your question the feeling was obviously nothing can be more than that till now the moment i felt in the office it was like you are done <laughs> so everything is good and it is very exciting to have your you know uh, results in hand when you see you are qualified now a professional degree and have 
worth in the market so uh, actually na uh, one problem also students are facing suppose right now you, uh, when you qualified you already working right and you completed yeah. your cma so i have mm-hmm. seen many students like uh, they are working in genpack essential or some other mncs and what happened mm-hmm. when they qualified they didn't get any hike or any appraisal so they need to change their job so have you faced this types of challenge also at that time that's pretty <laughs> real scenario because i was working within the corporates <clears throat> and i was i'm let's suppose i'm doing something for the organization and i get qualified so still i will be doing the same thing right for the organization there is no change in their products and no no change in their uh, day to day life so there are maybe there are few organization those are considering such uh, qualifications uh, within the you know journey of a employee but uh, there are many ex- uh, organization those are not considering the same so uh, it was challenging for me that uh, worth for a degree and when i decided to move the challenge for me was that i was in a real estate industry and uh, the moment we i was qualified in 2013 the real estate was on a down downfall so nobody was interested to hire the people from such industry which doesn't have a different experience so my big biggest challenge was not the money but the next job because nobody was considering me this first accountant and i have a very bad experience of 2 3 years which is turned now as good because i have realized that how to grab the job because i learned it nobody I, because i was facing such issues when uh, why i am not able to switch so i switched within a manufacturing unit and i had to prove that i am not the one who only need a industry experience i am also a cost account and i can do there is no matter if i don't have your manufacturing experience and i proved within the department as well that cost accountants knows the things and they can do barrier about that you haven't done in manufacturing in the past so that that's something about my experience well, can you explain few points what are the mistakes you are doing because of that we was not getting the job which you want so that's help other also few points not more few points so the real example i would say uh when i was trying to target the companies it was good i was doing everything right and uh, it it is sometimes ha- it is ha- it happens with everyone that few things take within two and a half year right with full time job when you are earning and when you are studying so it was good for me but time was not allowing me to switch so that is the one thing i noticed things take time and not every time it's sometimes for everyone and the second i realized uh, there is a profile at nokri the the employer's l- login uh, id was uh, not able to look at my degree the people one of one of the recruiter told me that you are saying that you are cost accountant but your nokri profile doesn't say so i just looked at and i realized that it is but still it is not showing so i re updated my profile and showed from one of the recruiter that it shows my degree now so they said yes it is showing now so and then i realized that my, i i could get some uh, uh, i mean mailers and calls from the recruiters that a cost accountant is there looking for a job so it it's totally your uh, your fortunate who decides sometimes so uh, which is your first job which makes you happy in terms of monetary sorry uh like na <laughs> you have worked in multiple companies right and after qualifying yeah. cma you also changed many jobs like genpack right now you are in cognigent apart from this you have also worked in some other companies so mm-hmm. which moment which job you feel more happy because in terms of money you also get the amount uh, like a cost accountant shall getting right 
least even not today i'm getting it far but i love like, <laughs> no, but is, yeah uh, actually the first time like one. like when i was working in genpack and right now i'm working in essential so i got approx 60 to 70% height from my last ctc so i feel right now i feel i right now i'm feeling very much happy because i achieved the thing which i want to achieve right now i'm also working in sap domain so this is also my dream to work Okay, start my career in as a SAP consultant. So, what uh, are the things which you which makes you happy? Okay, so the first point, uh, it is good that you got such high, but believe me, just wait for six months and you will realize that is <laughs> lower than your uh, level. It happens wherever we get something, it becomes old within six months or down the line a year. But yes, when I join, when I uh, Changed after quality in hand was lower than what I was getting exactly the moment I was in the previous organization. When I said in 2016 I joined a manufacturing concern in Gurugram, so my net intake I calculated was lower than the previous. I was not on payroll. I took this risk of being on third party role because I had to move. As I told you, I was. frustrated with my uh, current uh, profile and i was thinking of doing something good so i jumped into manufacturing just to prove that i can and within 5 to 6 month they, they they could realize that i can be a payroll guy however there are people there who were working on third party from 10 years approximately but i could make sure that they should have me on payroll within a 6 month right however it was not that much good in monetary terms but good that i am growing and people are trusting in me in a different industry and then i had some you know apprehension some different things which should not should not i disclose but i moved to genpack because thinking that i should i should grow in terms of money so i moved on to genpack and got a role which is to which was totally different but again a cost accountant can do fpna can do closing can do taxation everything it, there is nothing in finance which we can't do so i just ha- give given a try to make sure that i'm into a new domain and fpna becomes my you know passion to have this uh, completed by any ways so you can say that is that was the first when i realized that yes i could make sure the hikes you are telling i could get approximately the same which was good to understand for a year but yes after a year you again in the position that i should get more and similarly uh, after genpack again uh, i got this cognizant and again is a good to jump from cognizant uh, from genpack and again the decent feeling that i'm good now so you can say only my qualification was not that happy in terms of monetary but now every jump has some one question i have because you are already experienced person and you are already hiring to many candidate many freshers right so being a hiring a candidate like suppose some new persons they change multiple jobs after completing one year one year one year so what's your point of view at the time of selecting those types of candidate you know when you take interviews and hire someone right the thing you keep in your mind that person should uh, be able to value add in your team right because if your team will keep changing and people will be new the results expected from the team will not be at par okay so obviously when you look for a candidate for your team you always think the person should at least contribute for a two or three years at least and if if she or he feels like good to grow with the same organization they can ask for the hikes and everything and organization should also consider their performance and everything instead of doing some other uh, you know uh, uh, we can say judgments they should consider them for a long term but person has to prove at least for a uh, two years before that nobody no organization is looking for uh, you know high, give you a high any justification of your salaries 
you know need to justify and you need to prove that you are putting some effort which are resulting to grow the organization it's not directly related to your organization's revenue but yes you are the part of organization which everybody knows your manager knows that what you are doing so when i would be selecting if somebody jump and able to explain a very valid reason of their jump within a year or maybe within a six month maybe somebody coming after three years from the from a job and he's not able to justify his uh, jump that can be a potential issue that he'll not be stable with you if it is if even if it he is coming after 5 years or maybe somebody who is jumping 6 months 6 months 6 months and th- after three jumps he is coming to you may stay for a 5 years span because i would also say if i join somewhere and i don't fi- find a suitable profile for me it happens in today's corporate it happens they'll hire for you something and they'll they'll depute in something so you you'll not be able to go with them for long and obviously you will jump some and you'll get some different scenarios you you won't be comfortable with the team so you'll jump maybe sometimes you will jump and there are some personal issues and family for location so it it depends the jump what is the reason behind that uh, switch that that should be very reasonable when we are looking for a candidate great great so do you want to give any suggestions to newly qualified cmh what they need to do to grow themselves in the corporate world i think question and because if you wanted to grow in corporate there is a very different mindset yeah nowadays you guys are looking at shark tank and you will be like i should be a entrepreneur and which is not a bad deal but everything is not for everyone it depends what's your skill what's your nature and what's your way to do the things it depends and uh, when you are corp- when you when you are in corporate there are so many things which which matters for your growth it's not only your perf- your performance not your only your work hard work not only the politics corporate politics not only being right not only being very rude it's a mixture of what demands the time so we'll i i guess uh, we are planning to have such kind of sessions where yes i'll yes. give some l- live examples live you know experiences of my uh, you know some network uh, professional networks and other uh, people and also we'll share some uh, my uh, tic tacs what i follow but uh, for initially when you are fresher you have to be good at your com skills and all you have to be good with your uh, tech skills it's not like that if you have qualified you are ev- you are everything no in today's scenario you should be a very good at system your speed excel should be a very excel when you work in ms office you should be able to do it very fast and quick and there are a lot of courses which you need to follow when you are in your initial days of you know a post qualification so i would suggest go for at least very good and advanced excel trainings and all everything is available on youtube and you should go for some better communication and uh, soft skills which are very useful in the office when you wanted to present yourself you must skills and hard work is your personal nature how you define this term and <clears throat> discipline is also the thing which is important and make sure that your health health is not impacted you can't perform without health right thank you for giving all these suggestions to young cmh and also to me <laughs> so <laughs> definitely we will follow all the entire suggestions which are provided by you and uh, we will also record separate session on the different topics based on your experience so anything at the end of the session you want to add then you can add otherwise we will close the session i think we are almost good but uh, i would like to say let's be connected uh, within the cma uh, you know folks so that we can be helpful for each other it's not about the experience guys can help you even you guys 
can help each other and help us as well you are doing very good uh, rohan and there are a lot of things to learn from you i know mm-hmm. and but this can happen when we are connected so uh, let's be connected and rohan has this paper for my please yeah right right i also created in a google form link so i have okay. also shared with the students so if you are facing any problem during your cma journey just fill this form and share with us so i will schedule a zoom meeting call and in which all they connected with us and we will discuss in the live session so that's also we work for others yeah so point that you are highlighting uh from the examination point of view right right for right, the students right, right, right. you can have it for the people who are struggling for the new jobs right for the changes and maybe the they have everything but they have a very stressful environment within the organization and uh, either they will switch or environment compatible for themselves i mean that is also possible they are under stress but environment is fine but they are not able to you know, match up themselves with the hectic environment which is also the demand if you will jump you will again get the same environment what you will do you will again jump and then again you will get the national structure without, without going into the organization so you have to be that much capable that you can turn the situation according to yourself or you can turn yourself according to the situation everything is not last long things take time and sometimes you have to be with the situation for a time if it is lifelong then you can move on if it is a short term then you have to adjust yourself according to the situation you can't change every time time the organization no? you have to be there and you don't know what will be the next right you are 100% true yeah so we can have those sessions uh, rohan sure so thank you and i am winding up this session thanks again to you to come here and explain your journey and also guided us to what we need to do to get a good job to all these things thanks such a great session so no problem and thank you thanks for this time welcome